When I was a kid and anime was scarce to find, there wasn't much out there that was cooler than the Street Fighter 2 anime movie. The animation was solid and clean, the action was brutal and violent, well choreographed, and of course there's that Chun-Li sequence which 12 year old me liked for other reasons. Not to mention the fact that the movie ended with this ridiculous cliffhanger of Bison somehow surviving his beating from Ryu and Ken and then driving this huge tractor trailer towards Ryu as he jumps into the air, freeze frame, and then in the American version they suddenly throw on the song Blind by Korn and it's just the most hype shit ever. <laughs> But that was it. No sequel, no continuation. It was just a movie. Eventually, I became somewhat aware that there was a Street Fighter 2 anime series as well called Street Fighter 2 V, also not connected, and the V is meant to be victory, not meant to be the Roman numeral for 5, which would be Street Fighter 2 5, Street Fighter 25. What would that even mean? Not that it matters anyways, because calling it Street Fighter 2 isn't a sequel to anything. It's just that it was based on the Street Fighter 2 video game. There was never a Street Fighter 1 anime. And then we have, of course, the Street Fighter live action that's not related to this in any way either, and forcibly makes Guile the main character, since, you know, he's American, but you know what? Jean-Claude Van Damme is pretty badass. Y'all ever see Bloodsport? That's a good fucking movie. Anyways, what am I talking about? Oh yeah, I'm talking about alpha. Yeah, like alpha males. None of that beta shit. I vibe more with Sigmas myself, but that's just me. No, I'm kidding. I'm talking about Street Fighter Alpha. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. What the hell is this garbage movie? As a kid, I gave it a pass because I was like, wow, another Street Fighter anime movie, and I really liked it. Well, Kinda. I knew deep down that I didn't. I fooled myself into believing that I liked it and believing it was a sequel to the Street Fighter 2 movie. No, it's not a sequel, completely different continuity, different animation style, and a way different tone. If the Street Fighter 2 anime movie was your badass for adult violent action epic, then Alpha is the wimpy PG-13 edited version. Yeah, there's nothing Alpha about this movie, other than basing it on the Street Fighter Alpha video game, which is way better than the movie. I just rewatched the movie, hoping that maybe it was better than I remembered it to be. That somewhere in this mess of a film, there was a fight scene that would stand out, or maybe a plot element that I failed to appreciate. But after all these years, it's still just a giant disappointment. But I do have a positive, and that is the music. The music's pretty damn good, actually. There's some good energy behind it, and uh, yeah, it kind of pumped me up a little bit. But besides that, no. First of all, the thing that disappointed me the most as a kid and now is the Blue Balls teasing of Akuma. Akuma is this incredibly strong and badass character that's connected to Ryu and I believe killed his master is the right lore, I don't know, someone can correct me on that, but he's a being whose name literally means demon and lives for the pursuit of strength. His design is pretty badass as well and since they already animated a movie where they used Bison as the antagonist, Akuma would be the next logical choice. He He's in all the trailers for the movie, he's in the poster images, he's in all the marketing for it, but guess what? Not only is Akuma not the antagonist of this movie, but he barely appears in the film at all. It's basically just visions that Ryu is having. What an incredible jip. A fight between Ryu and Akuma is exactly how it feels it's going to build up to, but nope, we get none of that. Instead, we get this generic mad scientist guy and his android creation. That's right, out of all the catalog of the Street Fighter characters from the video games that they could have used, they just decide to make up their own villain, and he's as lame and generic as possible. And you have Akuma right there that you can use. But they don't. The plot is also as contrived as you can imagine. I mean, I know it's Street Fighter, I'm not expecting it to have a deep and intricate plot, but the story of this movie just feels so overly generic and boring. Ryu is the protagonist, and he's dealing with this power that's dubbed as the Dark Hado. It's the same energy that took over Akuma and caused him to kill his master. Again, it leads into a possible confrontation with Ryu and Akuma, and Ryu learning to utilize the energy and control its darker tendencies, not to fall victim to it like Akuma did. And you could make an entire movie out of that right there. But instead, we are introduced to another new character made for this movie, a kid named Shun that claims to be Ryu's long-lost brother, which is 
obviously not true, and even Ryu doesn't believe him. He doesn't convince anyone, but yet it goes along with this concept, and of course the kid is dealing with battling his inner darkness as well, which parallels Ryu, and yada yada. And the mad scientist antagonist is basically attempting to absorb power from the powerful fighters to make himself stronger, and I don't know, whatever. And of course he wants to harness the Dark Hado, which led him to try to get this fake little brother connected to Ryu, but none of it does anything for me. Especially when most of the fighting is done against this android, which has no personality whatsoever and it's kind of hard to connect to. But the best part is probably when there's an actual fighting competition that's happening uh, underground, and it's incredibly brief. And there also must be no weight classes because they put the kid Shun up against motherfucking Zangief, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, and this fight is also the first appearance of the android creature and Ryu battling against it. But this whole sequence is honestly my favorite part. I like the fight with Zangief and I like how it leads to Ryu fighting against the android and you know, first getting that overcoming Dark Hado feeling. The music, like I said, is really good in this scene. It feels kind of intense, but... It, that's about all I can praise about this movie. There is also a huge lack of other characters. Chun-Li is here, but she only really serves as the exposition girl, and she gets to fight briefly towards the end. Ken is back, and he's voiced by Steve Bloom, which is really nice. Uh, Sakura seems like she's going to be important towards the beginning of the movie, but then gets shoved to the background. And other than that, every other big Street Fighter character is pretty much just a cameo. Vega shows up for two seconds, Dan for two seconds as comic relief, Birdie is just here to get beat the fuck up really bad, and sadly, that's about it. There's no Guile, there's no Sagat, no Edmund Honda, I think Dalsa might be there for a second, I don't know. It's just, it's very, very bare bones. When I was younger, I gave this movie a pass because I was like, hey, another Street Fighter anime. I was just happy to find it. Anime wasn't as abundant back then as it is now. Plus, I love fighting games, I love the Street Fighter games, and I was spoiled by how awesome that original Street Fighter 2 anime was. I just wanted whatever morsel I could get more of it. But like most things that claim to be alpha, this movie is really just a big disappointment. But hey, maybe I'm all wrong, and there is some glorious stuff here beneath the scenes that I don't really understand, and maybe you guys could let me know if you like it. So tell me what you guys think. Do you remember this movie at all? Did you ever see it? Did you even know it existed? I don't know. I think it kind of fell under the radar after like 2002, but please let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below and like the video to help it in the algorithm. If you want to see my review of Street Fighter 2, that is linked down in the description below. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to support the channel on a deeper level, I do also have channel memberships turned on, Patreon, all that linked down in the description too. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time.